what a special car this is to be in today. Wow. I'm going to be going so slow in this. I'm really nervous. Not actually so much for the price after the rebuild, which has taken Sportech nearly four years to do. This has been a huge rebuild and I will go into that later showing you pictures of what they've done. It's more about the time that it's taken to get this car like this that makes me so nervous, more than the price. Because if you were to do something now, I mean that's just four years of work gone. Listen to those mechanical sounds. Oh, just beautiful. Single mass flywheel. It's got the 964 Cup exhaust, so the exhaust is straight from the Cup race car. Five-speed gearbox. So the car is not 100%, probably about 99% finished, such as, he said, the gearbox second to third. It's not perfect yet. It's got the wrong wheels on at the moment. It's got a set of black wheels on, which I think look okay but the original magnesium wheels are away being repaired and refurbished. So the original RSN GT wheels will be going back on once they've been refurbished. So a little bit about the story of this car while I go very slowly over these speed bumps with this rigid suspension, because this is a race car. This is 100% a race car with number plates on. That's what it is. The only difference between this and the actual race car is I think probably the handbrake. <laughs> so the owner had a crash in this on a racetrack. He wanted to fix the car and it just wasn't really working. So he took it to Sportec and they said, we have to start from the beginning with this. So over the last years, Sportec have stripped this down. I think part of the reason also it took some time was because financially as well I mean to rebuild from scratch a car like this with all original parts there's no aftermarket parts in this everything is original it takes a lot of time and a lot of money hence the four years it looks mint in black oh, something about a classic Porsche in black I'm not going to push the revs high today, not above five. The engine's been fully rebuilt. The car needs a bit of wearing in, but we can give it a little bit. Oh, oh, listen to that. Wow. Well, my hair's standing up and then this is a whole I don't want to go far today. Drive into Zurich, get a coffee, take this back in one piece, and I'm happy. Wow. <laughs> Those sounds. I'm in a race car, somehow with number plates. There's no heating. Hence the jacket. Well, let me rephrase that. There is some kind of hot air that you can use, but it's not working yet. That's one of the other things that's not working. So originally, this was a homologation special of the 964 Cup cars. As most of you will know, homologation specials are just the best types of cars. squeeze past the tractor in a half a million Porsche. <laughs> that was not fun. <laughs> Only 290 of these were made. So one of the most special things about, it's really loud in here, about this one. This is chassis number one. This was the official Porsche press car when they launched this. I would love to go above 5k. 
day, I won't, because I have huge respect for the car just being built, but I bet it's a lot of fun going above 5k. I don't know what it is about Switzerland. Nobody says thank you in Switzerland. You stop to let people through. No one says, you know, puts their hand up. No one says thank you here. It really, really annoys me that. It's just so rude. This 3.6 litre engine in the back is fantastic. A real pure driving experience. It's too good to be stuck in a museum. quickly forgot about how much this is worth and just started having way too much fun but you know at the end this is what it was made for Very nice coffee. Drinking my coffee, admiring the car. Very, very nice way to spend any afternoon. It truly is just so beautiful. Just stopped to get a couple of pictures before the light goes away. Big negative about the winter, as much as I love the snow, is it just gets dark at 4.30, so your day is super limited for doing pictures and filming. I can't get over how good this looks in black. When I'm taking pictures, I try and find some kind of nice background. Just stopped here, thought this could maybe look nice. The wood in the background against the black. But as I'm not going far today, I can't go to my favorite locations. I thought this would do the job just fine. Today, shooting with the Zeiss 50 mm 1.4. I get a lot of questions about uh, how I take my pictures, what lenses. I hate to end today's video now, I really do because I would love to just keep on driving and filming this car. But anyway, thanks as always for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up because it helps the channel a lot more than you realize. If you want to see pictures of this car, head over to my Instagram. I'm going to be posting them in the next couple of days. But for me, it is ciao for now.